Hello and welcome to Cars with Curtis. Today, in Car Week, on this channel, we are prepared to tell you about the Hennessy Venom. But there's something important about the Hennessy Venom. And it's not that we're talking about this one here. The fastest production car in the world, yet its record does not count. This car here did 270 miles an hour in Texas. Where this car is built, as you can see, it's obviously in America because they got an American flag. Uh, this car, built by Hennessy, that's the company, and it's called the Hennessy Venom, that went 270. The fact is that beat the Bugatti Veyron SS by 2 miles an hour. I mean, it seems like a lot, but looking at that car, it is. Looking at cars in general, that to back in the mid 80s was the first time that any car had gone over 200 miles an hour. That was a production car. In sports, cars had already gone that fast. Formula One and NASCAR. But for a production car on the road, 200 miles an hour was the feat then. And in just a couple of years, we will be potentially looking at the feat of going 300 miles an hour in a production car. And you think that that wasn't that many years ago. Just about 28 years ago, the Ferrari F40 was the fastest car. Now, the reason this record doesn't count is because for the Guinness Book of World Records, which everybody goes by four records, yes, this should have been the fastest, but what they do is the Bugatti Veyron, which went 267 miles an hour, and then went 200, um, eight, yeah, 268, was and still is the fastest production car because you have to go one way down the thing and then come back and they get your average speed. This car here, they only went one direction down the thing. They didn't go both directions. They went to one of the two ways. So that way they didn't get the average speed, they got one speed. Which should it count? Yes. But they didn't count it. So what's up next is I'd like to show you car that we're actually here to talk about. Yes, the picture credit does go to top here. Just felt like throwing that out there because it is on the car. And this is the next car we're going to talk about. This is the Hennessy Venom F5. This here is a V8 twin turbo hyper car which they're not just aiming to go a bit faster than their old record 270 or they're not just aiming to go 270 in this car which was as fast as the Bugatti would go 268 if you remember a second ago when I just said that in a few years cars will be going about 300 miles an hour production car speed record well the reason is this car here they're trying to get their target speed of 290 This company, they're not that big of a company, but they are going to try this. So, let's talk about the actual speed record. The Bugatti Veyron Supersport, which is SS, went 269.86 miles an hour. Then, the other way 
went 267.86 miles an hour, which means it averages out to be 2.68 to 268.86 miles an hour. So that means that this car here could go that fast. This car is supposed to have and could possibly exceed 1,400 horsepower. To bring that down to perspective, that is about 1,200 horsepower more than most road cars. Actually, that's about more. It's about 1,250 because most road cars have between 150 and 200. This car is named the F5. The reason this is the F5 is because the strongest tornadoes in the world are called the F5. And they're comparing this to a tornado. As it's just gonna go by really fast, it's gonna rip everything up by it. This car, I cannot wait to see it. Actually do its record thing. So this here is based off the Lotus Exige as all Hennessy Venoms are. The other one that you've seen was the Hennessy Venom GT. And the thing said that it would have more than enough downforce. And downforce is very important when you get up to a high speed. If you don't have enough downforce, well, the car will come right off the ground. So you gave her a spoiler. That should add some downforce. How much does it add? That's the question. So the power to weight ratio. This thing should have about 1,000 horsepower per ton, which is ridiculous. Uh, the Veyron SS has only 630 horsepower per ton, and the Veyron SS has 1,200. This car is going to be crazy. Coming up next, we look at two more brilliant cars that are set to come out. Two more. This car here, they're going to make one of them next year, and they're going to make 30 of them that people can buy. So start saving up your money, and by 2016, you can buy one. Not doing that.